Alright YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder with the Angry Nerd. And this is just a little quick snippet of the difference between mouse control and keypad control and joystick control. Um, let's put on markers here. Alright, so what's happened before we came in is I just came through in my Havoc Mark 1 and I got shot down by an Air Cobra. I'm coming back, gonna work after some ground targets. And off over the right wing I see some enemy fighters going after a friendly. So I throw off these two bombs and I come around and I'm gonna try to help out the friendly. So I line up on the bow fighter and I dispatch him. But in the process, that same air cobra has now zeroed back in on me. He gives me a couple of quick shots and I start evasive maneuvers applying full rudder and flaps. And I'm starting to out turn him and so he's going to vacate the area and you can see him barely heading toward the corner he's going down heading toward the rocks uh, straight in front of the screen and I don't know just watch this maneuver when he comes out from behind the rock did you see that it was hard to see from this view but anyway you just can't do some of these maneuvers uh, that these guys can do whether they're mouse and keypad or whether they're using a game controller I don't know which one he's using but you can't do that with uh, a joystick and so look at that besides the accuracy that you can get uh, while utilizing a mouse and keypad while flying you can be pretty precise with your aiming compared uh, to a joystick but um, you're not going to do anything like those maneuvers um, utilizing a joystick. And uh, if you can, you can fly a whole lot better than I can with a joystick. So anyway, we're going to take uh, some a look at it from his perspective in a couple of views. So hang tight. We'll be right back. Okay, so here's another view. Now, camera issues, he will probably um, switch out of this view, but I'll switch back as quickly as possible. But he's trying to come around on me. He decides that uh, I'm going to outturn him. So. He's weaving, he's down low. Did you see that? You know, it's kind of hard to tell. But watch some of these maneuvers. He's just giving it all he's got. Really? Woo. Oh, there you go. You like that, huh? <laughs> but, yeah, I don't give up so easy. 
You're going to have to work a lot harder than that to get rid of me. Okay, give it another try here. He looks like a piece of Swiss cheese. Let's finish him off. There we go. No more slip sliding for you, buddy. Bam. Okay, so the wild maneuvers in the last game um, got me thinking about joystick versus mouse and keyboard and possibly gamepad. I really don't know how gamepad uh, fits into it or what they can do with that. But I just wanted to show you this little uh, example from Pilot's perspective. So let's get this P40 in the air and we're going to do some aileron rolls and attack a ground target and just look at the um, difference. So first of all we're going to gain a little altitude and we're going to fly toward um, this mountain at the back of the map here. Now we are at uh, 1100 feet. Let's do some aileron rolls and see how many we can do. We're at 1200 before we crash into the ground. Actually we're at 13. Here's a one, two, can we get a third one in? And oh yes, got three in before we crash. Now if I compensate by as I'm rolling twisting the joystick to make my rudder go and push forward and twist the other way and pull back a little bit. I can do a roll and not lose very much altitude but I'm not uh, in any shape to uh, be precise with that at all. Now as far as a ground target is concerned, there's no air targets to mess with. I can't attack it from this view, but I can attack it from the virtual cockpit where the reticle stays in the center of the screen. This view, reticle moves up and down on the screen. It really freaks me out. But this one stays in the center of the screen, and what I do with the joystick is relative it's hard to get this thing right on the target, but this should be good. Oh, I thought I had it. Damn it. Okay. I should have hit that before. But anyway, now let's change controls. Let's import um, mouse aim. Now same. Okay. Continue. Resume. Oh, change my view. Change my view. There we go. Now then. Let's see. Oh, look. There's some trucks over there. Well, first, let's aim toward this mountain. Watch this. Look at this. Now, if I had more speed, because I don't have my stuff mapped as well as I should, it would be even smoother. Right? You can... It's... I can do this all day. Right? not having any trouble. Oh, I can also make like a 180 degree turn while I'm doing aileron rolls. That's not going to happen with a joystick. Not anywhere close to that.
Those were moving targets. Moving targets. That's pretty easy. So, I mean, I don't know what else to say. You're not flying the plane. You're telling the plane where you want, you're telling the computer where you want the plane to go and the computer is flying it there for you. There's a big difference there. You know? Okay, so I'm actually in a battle now with joystick, I mean mouse control. Now my mouse controls are not um, set up properly so I don't have my throttle set the way it should be. Um, or anything like that, but just wanted to take a little damage and show you how this works. I don't know how to target with don't have my targeting system set up. not hard, right? Be a lot better if I had my controls um, set up the way they should be. See how much my plane is black. Okay. Now look at how I can maneuver this plane damaged. Right? If I want to fly straight and level, all I do is hold it there. And it's flying straight and level, no problem. Let's do rolls. Damaged plane. Look at this thing. Right? Almost completely black. Now, let's change controls. Import from file. Um, An enemy is kept in the airfield. We can't let us keep it. Now then, look at this. If I'm not doing anything with the joystick, look at what the plane is doing, right? I have to pull the joystick to the right to get the plane to straighten up. So as far as um, trying to perform like lots of maneuvers, right, it just not wanting to do it. It wants to roll to the left and if I don't pull back to the right then the thing will just crash. So I'm having right now 
to fly straight and le or it's not really straight and level, but I have the joystick almost at a 45 degree angle um, to the right to keep the plane level. If I let it straighten up, this is what it wants to do, right? Because that left wing has lost a lot of lift. So let's straighten it back up. So anyway, that's just what I wanted to show you that not only um, is the mouse um, user got a little um, more precise with their aiming, especially at a distance than the joystick, but the computer compensates for the damage of the plane while um, let's see if I can land this thing even. Oh, let's see. Come on. Get over to the right. This is going to be a suicide mission. But uh, the mouse controller um, the uh-oh the person flying with the mouse, the computer is compensating for the mouse. These people are wondering why I'm trying to land with this already our airfield. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. Just a little more information on mouse versus joystick. So let's uh, exit this game. Sorry, folks. And, um, anyway, if you like the video, like it. If you didn't, don't. Um, hope you enjoyed that rocket uh, kill uh, at, at the front. The unlikely rocket kill. Anyway, thanks for watching. Nerd out.